What's the crack lads? We are back with another end season MVP player ultimate training guide. And this time we're going to be taking a look at a player that's for three stars. Okay, now this guy is somebody that I've already bought. I've already got this guy and I'll show you my version of him in a second. And I'll show you a couple of mistakes I made. Not so much mistakes, but something just to watch out for. Haven't played with about, you know, with him for about five or six games, right? Um, his standard form, he's on B rating. He's a classic number 10. So a very unique player. A lot of players don't have that classic number 10 play style. They usually have whole player. They usually have creative playmaker. Um, you can even have Roman flank as attacking midfielder, such as Mudrick from the um, Man City uh, Chelsea pack, if you play him that role, right? You can play a lot of different formations with it or deep line forward as an AMF. It doesn't really make a difference, but I think that classic number 10 sitting in the pocket is a seriously underrated player uh, style, right? So we're going to show you two different versions of him. Now, he does have a bit of a dodgy hairdo, lads. A bit of Bruce Lee going on here, as one of my guys in the chat said earlier. Um, but the hairstyle does look like Bruce Lee. But this 17-year-old definitely is one to watch because it is card. And it's definitely kind of like reminiscent of Xavi Simmons, who they released a couple of a couple of weeks back ago. Um, a couple of weeks back ago. A couple of weeks ago. Um, they're very, very, very similar cards, like extremely similar cards. So they have the same issues um, and the same kind of like pros and cons, right? This guy goes to a whopping 47 levels, as you see there. Player skills are insane. One touch pass, true pass, and beautiful for an attacking midfielder. All he's missing is low lofted pass. He's also got double touch sombrero, cut behind and turn, soul control. Double touch with soul control is going to be lovely. Chip shot control and gamesmanship as well. If your AI is controlling him, um, you will get a couple of frees if you're simming matches and all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, we've got two different versions of him. So he can play as an AMF or a CMF. We're not even going to bother training him as a CMF realistically because he's a classic number 10. This guy kind of reminds me of Raquel Med. That's kind of who he, who he reminds me of, right? So we're going to go over to eFootball DB. We'll keep this short and sweet, lads, because there's no point giving you too much worthless information just for the sake of talking, okay? So he goes 47 levels. It gives us 92 progression points, which is huge. And this is the first version of him. So we talked about Raquel, Raquel Med there a while ago, which was like two minutes ago. But uh, yeah, this kind of it is reminiscent of him. He's kind of like a throwback Totti when Totti was starting his career. Doesn't have massive pace, but passing, dribbling, and the player skills are going to overcompensate for this. Now, we have actually gone to town with the finishing, lads. 15 into finishing. Yes, we get finishing there with 80, but most notably, we get this curl of 85. That's what we want with this card. We want to be able to curl passes, curl shots. I mean, the way the passing is at the moment, curl seems to be a very important. It's something that I'm really researching at the moment as to does it make a difference if it's past 90. And it seems to be. So we're going to get that as high as we possibly can. 15 is where we max it out. 14 into passing. 7 into dribbling. And 5 into dexterity. And lower body strength is going to be 6. Now you will see the biggest issue with this card is stamina. So I would genuinely be playing uh, Guler just for about maybe 55-65 minutes. Somewhere between the hour mark I would be taking him off. Or else I would be bringing him on for the last 30 minutes or 25 minutes of the game. So he doesn't have super sub. If you could give him super sub. And low lofted pass. This guy could be one of the best cards in the game for starting off. Look, he's not going to compete with five star players. He's not going to compete with Messi. He's not even going to compete with Bernardo Silva. Because of a couple of limitations to his card. But as a three star, you could go a lot worse than this. Now the second version of him is kind of a more... Um, faster kind of more dynamic attacking midfielder yes he still has the classic number 10 so he'll get all the benefits of that play style he'll get all the benefits of the player skills but this is kind of a run and gun attacking midfielder touch and go you know long ball quick counter through the middle a very 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 solid player that can do it all right we've tweaked the finishing down a little bit um we've also tweaked up the lower body strength to give him 70 stamina this is more of a player that if you are going to be starting out and you're going to be training him up you are going to want to kind of pay attention to his stamina because you'll probably be playing him more than more, more often than not he goes to an 88 overall that will rise to a 90 with your team play style now i did mention that i had him in my squad i'm going to show you the version of him that i i actually bought and trained up he takes a lot of trainer points, lads, so be careful of that. This is my Road to Glory squad. If you've missed any of the episodes of that, make sure and check them out because they are quite fun. But this guy here, Guler, he is uh, 90 acceleration with 90 tight possession. So that's my version of him there that I actually trained up with 88 balance. So I pretty much have him identical here, except for a couple of little changes. So this one, you're going to 84 with the pass instead of my one here, which is 86. 
And then on top of that, we do have more stamina as well on this one. So that's where the extra points are going. I think this is probably the ultimate, ultimate version of him. So learn by a little bit of my mistakes. This guy suits me a little bit better, obviously, because of the acceleration and the tight possession with the balance is sky high. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very, very good version of him here that you see on your screen now. So that is it, lads, for me. Let me know in the comments below what other training guide you want to see. And I'll be back in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.